Hi everyone, apparently many of us are making fashion mistakes. Today I'm going to talk about some of the fashion mistakes that I think mature women are making. Usually I just emphasize that these are just my opinions, but actually these are the opinions of many of the fashion ladies on YouTube. If there's any fashion mistakes that I mentioned today that you do not agree with, you could leave me comments about that. Of course, keep wearing what's comfortable for you. You wear what you really like to wear. Most of these fashion mistakes I think are aging for mature ladies or they're just poor styling. To kick off my list of mistakes for me personally, I think it's dressing too conservatively. What does that mean exactly? That could mean dressing too classic. I think the classic style we thought of back in the 90s is probably changed quite a bit today because fashion moves along and classic style moves along too. Even though we're told time and time again it's timeless, there is no fashion style that is exactly timeless. Otherwise we'd all be still be wearing corsets and suspender belts. Wearing too many neutrals. I think wearing too many neutrals for a mature woman can wash you out. If you're like me you've lost pigmentation in your hair because you've stopped coloring your hair and you might have gray hair or silver hair and also you've lost some pigmentation in the skin. I think wearing too many neutrals and not wearing any color at all can be a little bit aging. Color brings life to our skin. If it's a flattering color for your skin tone it is going to bring color into your face. Color will emphasize your eyes and also complement your hair color. Don't get me wrong I love neutrals and I have a lot of neutrals in my wardrobe and if I wear head to toe neutrals which I do love to do I tend to make sure it's a modern look like wearing a moto jacket or a fun pair of fashion stylish sneakers with a pair of beige or tan pants. I'll pull some outfits from my wardrobe to demonstrate to you the looks that I'm thinking that might be aging. I have a white elegant feminine looking blouse teamed it up with a pleated beige skirt and some nude pump. This particular pair with the gold heel I think they're a bit matronly looking on me. I've rarely worn them. I've added in a string of pearls. I love pearls. A lot of women love pearls but I think as mature women you have to be quite cautious how you wear pearls. Adding a lace top particularly with the pearls and with the beige skirt I think I look more conservative. It's a bit matronly and I think it's aging me. And I think as mature women once again we have to be careful how we wear lace. I'm not talking about lace insert into blouses and so forth. I'm talking about all over lace, particularly an all over lace dress. All over lace dresses and all over lace tops haven't really been a very modern look for a little while. More neutral looks with beige pants and off-white blazer and I've kept the lace blouse on and the pearls of course. I'm going to keep the beige pants on and change this outfit around to where I think it looks more modern and probably less aging as well. I've changed the beige pants outfit into something so much more modern and I don't think it's aging at all anymore. Because it's modern I think it gives me a youthful look. I have a beautiful zebra print chocolate and white blouse on. It's a beautiful blouse. It has puff sleeves from just above the elbow here in elastic and it's got a little tie up here. I got rid of the lace blouse, got rid of the pearls. I changed the beige shoes to a pair of ankle boots with a pointed toe and a lovely pair of beige boots. The next fashion mistake I want to talk about is cardigans. I've been a cardigan lover for as long as I can remember. For many years I was wearing a particular cardigan that really isn't so in fashion anymore. It occurred to me that this particular style of cardigan that I'd been wearing for many years was a bit boxy and it was ending in not the most flattering place for me on the top of my thighs. It was a little bit long to look modern and it also had a round neck. Cardigans are still in fashion and I hope they never go out of fashion. In the last couple of seasons I've bought myself a couple of cropped cardigans, shorter cardigans this length and I'm wearing them as tops buttoned down the front and I occasionally wear them with the tank underneath opened up. If you want to wear your cardigans a little bit longer and I'm not talking necessarily long cardigans but they're still in fashion as well we're wearing them more relaxed and oversized and definitely the v-neck look and I would say if you're looking more modern you're looking more youthful. I tend to wear these crop cardigans with jeans and wide leg pants. I could wear them over dresses but that look isn't so popular anymore. It could look okay with a crop cardi. Wearing the cardigans that I was wearing years ago with the round neck, a little bit boxy in shape, wearing them over a dress, particularly a dress that's a bit gathered in the waist or the bodice, I don't think that's such a modern look anymore. 
have a beautiful cobalt blue floral dress on and I've put on the longer cardigans, the boxy ones that I used to wear. I still have this in my wardrobe. I only wear it around the house now. I don't find it very stylish. So I think that one of the problems is the length and that's not a good length for petite women in particular, but it is a little bit boxy and I think the round neck on it is a bit dated now. I don't think wearing the cardigan over a pretty dress like this is a modern look. Rather than wearing one of those boxy cardies with your dress, I think it looks more modern with a denim jacket. This time I've put one of my boxy black cardigans. Yes, I still own a couple of them. As I said, I wear them around the house over a skirt. Now the skirt's got a bit of fabric in it. It's a bit voluminous. The boxiness of the cardigan and the fullness of the skirt with the ruffle on the bottom all looks a little bit boxy. It doesn't look terrible, but I think this other outfit that I've chosen with the cropped cardi is a lot more stylish. I have a lovely neutral cropped cardigan here. It's not actually cream. It's actually got a bit more warmth. It's almost like a very pale apricot colour and matched it up with a knitted midi skirt with splits up the side. Now I think this is much more of a modern look. You don't have to wear them as tops of course. You can wear them over your tanks, over your tees and you could even wear them over a dress. This time I put my lovely green cropped cardigan over a simple black t-shirt dress. If you're going to wear your cardigan over a dress, I wouldn't wear it over a dress that's too gathered or has too much fabric in it and is too busy with frills and like the floral one I just showed you. I tend to wear it over something more simple like a t-shirt or a singlet dress. The crop green cardi looks so much more modern than the longer cobalt blue cardigan. Let's talk leggings and jeggings. <laughs> I actually do wear leggings still for walking and that's it. Walking around the neighborhood predominantly and that's about it. I'm going to show you an outfit that I used to wear with these cotton spandex stretchy leggings, just the plain ones, plain black. I only ever wore black. I used to call it my lazy outfit. In winter, I wore this outfit quite a bit. It's a bit of an outdated look now. It's not a modern look today. I'm not seeing many ladies getting around in leggings anymore. If you still want to wear your jeggings, if you love your jeggings, and look, I know they're comfortable. I do know they're comfortable. I think the main thing is we all know cover the front. We don't want to be showing anything that we don't want to be showing. And sometimes those jeggings are really hard to hide panty lines. Don't try and wear jeggings as pants. I think for a mature woman they're not only a bit dated but they're not very stylish. But walking, hiking, sure. But yeah, I think we've got to let the leggings and the jeggings go as fashion garments now. Here I am in what I used to call my lazy outfit. I've got my cotton spandex leggings on. I've got my boots on. I used to wear these boots a lot. They're like the biker boot. I still like these but they seem a bit chunky but I think they're a bit dated as well. I haven't worn them in a couple of years so maybe they are out of date. My long t-shirt over the top covering the bits that we need to cover and a cardigan. <laughs> a longer cardigan and this was my lazy look. I don't wear this out anymore but I have to admit it's really comfortable but it's not terribly stylish. Recently I was doing a declutter of my wardrobe and I came across some sequin tank tops. I used to love sequins and part of me still does. I love shiny things, I love metallics. What can I say? I'm like a bird. I'm attracted to anything shiny and glittery and sparkly. I have to admit they're probably dated. The outfits I'm showing you I've gone a little bit further than I normally would. I've thrown in leopard print lots of leopard print as well to show you that wearing lots of leopard print together is aging. I love leopard print. I still own some leopard print pieces in my wardrobe. I definitely think wearing too much leopard print at once is aging. This fashion garment I can't show you. I've never owned a pair. I never will own a pair. It's Bermuda shorts. I really dislike them. I do not think they're flattering on any woman and every time I see them all I think of is female golfers. Women playing golf. I see them as golf attire. I think that you need to have 
really lovely knees to wear them because they sit just above your knee, maybe an inch, two, three inches above your knee. Very unflattering length for a fitted short. No way, no how would I ever wear a pair because I've got chubby knees. Why would I draw attention to one of my worst assets? I've got really chubby knees. I think you have to have pretty nice legs to wear Bermuda shorts or at least be confident with your legs, showing your legs. I do not find them stylish. I think they're dated and I think there's better options out there in shorts. I think if you're going to wear shorts, wear them a bit shorter. Mid-thigh length might be a better length. Not too short, of course. I think shorts with a bit of flair on them, not too fitted.